Well, thanks for watching Answering the Call and Overcomers TV. We're at NRB 2020 in Nashville, Tennessee. And with me is Michael Schamberger, the author of the book, Beyond the Pitch. Michael, thank you so much for spending some time to talk to our audience. Glad to be here. Very glad to be here. So as an author, I always say everybody's got a good book in them. But uh, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about the book and how God put it on your heart to, uh, to write it? Well, first of all, this book is a devotional. It's a one-month devotional. My wife and I, uh, well, I wrote 31 uh, days of devotions, and my wife added two chapters at the end. I was uh, a high school soccer coach for 19 years, 16 of those as a head coach, and I retired in November of 2018. And after I retired, at the end of that month, I was getting the thoughts of writing a soccer devotional. And I was like, no. <laughs> anyway, eventually, after God and I wrestled back and forth for several months, I uh, agreed to write this book. Yeah, that's good. So as a devotion, I think as Christians, we're all learning how to apply our faith. And as sports, there's a lot of sports analogies. Some of the best passages I heard were football coaches. So talk about the link there, how we're running the race, and Paul uses those examples. Talk about that. Well, soccer, I think, is the best sport in the world, but I'm biased, okay? <laughs> soccer is a great sport for just conditioning. You can't call timeout, so the players have to figure it out on the field. So you have to do a lot of things in practice to get your, co your players to be able to figure things out without you intervening. Sounds like life. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah. that teaches you a lot, you know, in, in the game of things to be able to apply in life. So this book is all about principles of sports that you have to apply in your everyday life. Uh, I originally wrote the book as a book for soccer people right. who happen to love the Lord. Right. But now that the book is written and published and people are reading it, the feedback I'm getting is that this is not a soccer book at all. It's a book about building relationships with people, about learning how to walk with God in every area of your life. So. That's what I now realize is the purpose of God wanting me to write this book. It wasn't to write something about soccer. It was to use an everyday recreational activity to draw people to walking with the Lord and to loving and caring for one another in a very special way. I was going to say every soccer mom should probably have a copy of this in the van. What do you think? Or a few <laughs> for their parents and everybody else? Not just soccer moms, but every mom, <laughs> really, honestly. Uh, so for the people who are watching, I just would just like to say I really would like to encourage you, even if you don't like sports, read this book. Go get it. Go to my website, masterpiececs.com, and go to the book page and order the book. And I promise you that the principles in it will apply to you whether you like sports or not. As a matter of fact, Chuck, one of the things that I have gotten feedback from about this book, there are two ladies that I know, but they don't know each other. Both of them, neither one of them like sports, right. definitely not soccer. Yeah, yeah. But they read the book, bought it and read it just because they knew I wrote it. Right. And the feedback I got from both of them was pretty much the same, right. and that was, Michael, this book is not a soccer book. This book is about building relationships with people and about applying godly principles into your everyday life. So That's I good. think it's for every person who wants to draw yeah. closer to the Lord. So, you know, the show Answering a Call uh, is about evangelism and discipleship. Those are the two big things Jesus said. Go preach the gospel to every living creature, and in Matthew 28, make disciples, teach them to obey. So would you say it's more of a discipleship book, or does it have the effect to even lead someone to Christ that may not really know him or have a relationship with the Lord? I think it's both. It's probably primarily a discipleship book, but it could definitely be used for people to come to know the Lord as well because I think what it does is it takes Christianity out of the broad, uh, you know, big area and it lets people see, oh, this is real. This, this, you can actually apply this. So I think people can grab hold to it 
and touch it and apply it to their lives. And that's why we're here at the NRB, National Religious Broadcasters, people doing Christian films, radio, television. People want to see how people are living out their faith. How does the rubber meet the road, so to speak? Mm. It's not just pie in the sky. You know, it's real how we live it out, how it manifests in our lives. So is there one takeaway from the book that you want to share a little bit more about something in the book that may make them want to read the, the rest of the book, so to speak? Well, what I will share with you all is that th there are lots of stories. The book is filled with stories about what happened with me and my coaching experience. And what I would share is that you will get to see in the book how I was faced with challenges where I could have reacted, not saying that I was perfect at all, but where I could have reacted in ways that were not have been, would not have been God-pleasing. But by the grace of God and by God working in me and through me, that I was able to take that situation and allow God to work in it for his glory, hopefully. Amen. Well, that's awesome. Stay tuned. We're going to get some more stories and segments here at NRB. Uh, 2020 Nashville, Tennessee. Michael, again, thank you for spending some time with our viewers and sharing about your book. And uh, I get an autographed copy at the end of the show, right? Do you want to? We're gonna we're gonna show our viewers the the link to your website and everything else. But uh, I'm really excited about what God is doing in your life, and I'm looking forward to the sequel, requel, or the part two. Uh, do you have a yeah? You have any plans for a part two? Who knows? I didn't have plans for this one. <laughs> Right, Proverbs 16.9, a man's heart plans his way, the Lord directs his steps. Thank you so much, Chuck. You're welcome, Michael. Hey, stay tuned. We're going to get some more interviews here at NRB 2020. Keep watching. <laughs>